Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426 and today we have another review of the HG Obsidian Fury from the Pacific Rim Uprising, the movie. Now, um, this was the the really evil, sinister looking unmanned Jaeger from the movie, which was a pretty good scene if you ask me. I mean, I really love the scene where Obsidian Fury and Gypsy Avenger fought each other in the city and in the Arctic area. That was really cool and there was no way I would pass on to this kid. Well, technically, I, I pre-ordered them, uh, like, last year or so. <laughs> so, and, which means I have no regrets in getting this kit. Alright, so, I'm, one thing I have to mention is that I'm pretty, I'm sorry if I accidentally mentioned any spoilers regarding the movie, but, yeah, um, I, uh, sometimes I would just talk without thinking, or noticing that kind of stuff, so, sorry in that aspect. Alright, let's get on to the review now. Before I actually get on to the review or articulation, let's go with our usual components checking. Now, first of all, what you get, of course, is the Obsidian Fury himself. Let me put him back so he can rotate around. Here is his normal components that you should be using or you should have normally. Now, first of all, it's the sticker decal sheet, which is, I'm gonna admit, is even smaller than... <laughs> Uh, the I mean the sticker decals are even smaller than <laughs> Gypsy Avengers, so there was there was no way I could I could technically apply these small stickers or decals, whichever whatever you call it. But honestly, all the HG uh, Jaeger kits they they really look good without these kind of stuff, so I don't really recommend it. But those who have to be like, oh no, I have to be movie accurate, so if that's the case, go on. Okay, and here are its stuff. Number two, uh, first of all, you get both open hands for left and right. Currently, I'm using the fist for the kit, um, and they have these really long ball joints, which I'm still not sure why, but I will tell you how these go how these things work. And you have its those infamous chainsaw blades, which was really really badass in the movie. Let me actually check the instruction manual for their official name. Uh, yeah, it's called Plasma Chainsaw. Now. Now, interestingly enough, like they give you two versions. They give you the black version, which is pretty much the moment he pulls out these things on from his arm, and then after they start start rotating and activating, they turn into like like heated up versions. So they also give you these orange or yellow clear versions. Now, in the camera, it looks yellow, but it's actually pretty orange. So just letting you guys know. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty thankful they did give you both because I, I was kind of worried because in the promo pictures they only show examples with these and I was wondering, huh, I do wish they would give the same uh, orange version like the Robot Dawashi version does, but they did, so thankful for that. And then now Gypsy, for the Gypsy Avenger, I didn't have any leftover pieces, but here are the pieces that I was mentioning from the first review where they give you sort of... Pieces that look like polycaps but are in actual ABS plastic. These are the examples. Huh, I didn't know I had the extra piece of that, but yeah. They all look like polycap pieces, but they're actually all plastic. They're all ABS plastic. They're not the rubberish material. So that regarding that, they did a very good job regarding these these. So I'm assuming Bandai's like development or their plans, master plans of getting rid of polycaps. It's working smoothly, so after like a few years later, we might even see something even better, so yeah. So that's that. Okay, now let's get on to the review. Now once again, um, a lot of people were asking me whether, uh, which is better, this or Gypsy Avenger. I'm having trouble, you know, choosing at this point, because they're both very unique builds and very fun kits to build, and awesome, both of them. So, I can't really tell which is, which is like better, and sorry for the camera. I really don't know why, I mean, my room is very bright, I even have these two lights going on, and still, um, the light, I think it's my camera where it, it has some issues like focusing, and then the color going all blurry like this, but re really sorry about that aspect. I wish I, I wish I could like get a better camcorder, but I'm having some uh, personal issues going on, but yeah. Um, anyway, for size comparisons. The Gypsy Avenger was even taller than the HG Gundam local type. Obsidian Fury even taller. So I'm really impressed how a Gypsy Avenger actually beat uh, Obsidian Fury when it comes to size. But yeah. So that's that. Okay, now uh, for articulation, well, the neck or head area is pretty much the same. Or the way how it works, like Gypsy Avenger. It's the ball joint. It's not actually like straight upward. It's kind of like an angle like that. 
So for head articulation, uh, pretty much the same. It can go down that much. I hope you guys can see it because uh, my camera or my setup is ha does have some a little bit of issues taking video pics of videos of black kits. So they can go down that much. You hope you can see the orange visor. It can go up that much and left and right. Same as Gypsy Avenger. There's not much movement going on right here. And yes, actually for this one, unlike Gypsy Avenger, they actually give you a orange clear piece for the head slash eye visor. Which is pretty good. And no, there's no actual like kaiju organ inside there. So just let you guys know. No, no, no. Okay, for the body, well, well, actually, let's go with the shoulder. Now, the shoulders actually have some interesting movement going on. Now, for when you're, like, in this mode, um, there's not much movement you can do. I mean, it can go forward and backward, almost like Gypsy Avenger. But d depending on the pose, these shoulder armors do get in the way. So, for that, they actually have this sliding mechanism. Come on. Like this. They have this sliding mechanism. You can see, like, the slide so sliding there, so you can move it around. Uh, or reposition the shoulder when you need to, so, yeah. But beyond that, I mean, it's good enough. I mean, to some people, this might become a little bit bothersome, but you, if you get used to it, you'll get used to it. Okay, um, so that's that. So because of that, about 90 degrees, 90 degrees to the side, it isn't still possible. Even the Avenger, the Gypsy Avenger was not capable of doing this, but oh well. Uh, it has almost a double jointed bend, almost. Well, technically that should be considered one. And then, like the Gypsy Avenger, you have... This one actually uh, has a 360 twist. So of course, there's something like... You can feel it when you're twisting it. You can see something like being scratched on, but it still works. So that's that. And then... Um, oh yeah, and because... Uh, now, because of this part right over here, this part... Um, 360 for the arm is not possible. I'm not, I don't think it's also not really recommended so I'm not even gonna try um, and the hands are your typical ball jointed hands but with those long ones which actually I'll demonstrate later how this works okay now let's get the body articulation the body once again you have the uh, crotch area upper body and then you have the middle ab area ab crunch area so it has a, a very good bend to the front to be honest I was kind of impressed to the back, that's, there's not much to go. I mean, even for human standards, that would be kind of painful considering how his spine looks like. Now, um, yeah, sorry for this, but I really don't know how to deal with this. My my setup is not the best setup for black kids. Now, I really do like this extra detail on the back, which has this spine thing going on to the back. Very nice looking as well. It doesn't move anything, but it, it, it was a nice, interesting detail to see on this. Alright, because in the movie, you can see, like, the spines are, like, were flapping to, like, jam all radio signals and such. Alright, um, let's see, the, the legs. Um, oh yeah, uh, the upper body doesn't move, uh, to the side, D does not move 360 to the side, I'm not even gonna force it. The lower body also not recommended because there's block. These two parts are blocking the way. All right. So for the legs, once again, same principle. Um, you have uh, pegs, pegs connected for the legs. Just to make sure. Well, yeah, pegs. But this one actually has a little bit interesting hole here. But yeah, this is how it works. And then the legs can go more than ninety degrees technically, because there's no front or back or side skirt. Yeah, very nice. Uh, yeah, kick. And then you have a double jointed bend on the knee, very nice bend. And then you have a ball jointed, what well, was it ball jointed? No, uh, okay. The way how this works is that this upper part um, is a ball joint, I believe, but uh, the lower part is actually, um, there's no pegs or no pieces in there, just a hole there, and you just attach the feet, which does actually does help a lot in the ankle movement and the feet movement as well and for the for the legs this one actually has this part moving around which i mean i guess it's just an extra detail <coughs> sorry about that this is just an extra detail but it's really good to know to have that all right so that's pretty much it for the articulation and once again really if you're like really into menacing looking robots this is pretty much for you now let's go on with this accessories now for the hand um once again really long ball jointed hand I don't, I'm not really sure what's the main purpose of this, but the way how this works is that you have to plug the ball joint in and then push it a little bit more to make it look right. So that's pretty much it. And then 
the hands look at that detail you can see those claws right over there really nice and pretty sharp if you if you ask me yeah pretty pretty pointy and sharp so that's pretty much it i'm going to put it back in the fist now let's look at its chainsaws now i'm just going to demonstrate one on one arm the way how you're supposed to attach it is that unlike the gypsy avenger you, ha you have this part here on the arm the side arm to be honest you take this part off and then i believe yeah you have this t-shaped peg and then a t-shaped hole right on the arm as well that which had the armor you attach it and then there's another t-shaped hole on on the chain oh come on camera stupid and then there's another T-shaped hole onto the chainsaw as well, and there's another T-shaped peg here. You just need to reattach it right over there. And there you go, which gives you an illusion where the chainsaw is actually popped out from the arm, which is a very nice effect. And really badass looking. I mean, come on, if you were fighting a big giant robot that had chainsaws on its arm, I'm pretty sure everybody would shit their pants. <laughs> Okay, for the other arm, uh, for the orange blade, pretty much same principle. So just do the same thing. Attach the arm and then reattach the armor. There you go. Honestly, I do prefer the orange chainsaws because they look more. I don't know. They they give you they give it a more interesting effect. Anyway, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it for the review of the Obsidian Fury. Now, honestly. I would definitely recommend Obsidian Fury or Gypsy Avenger. I mean, both of them have their pros and cons, so up to your up to your preferences on which Jaeger is your is better. But kid wise, they're pretty much they're both really good kids. I, I really can't tell which is better. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching the review. This was the review of the HG Obsidian Fury. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. Now I have to go make the review for the HG Bracer Phoenix. So yeah, we'll see you guys again.